Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy and I'm back and today's video is about these bad boys the Dragon Ball Z second wave and the Dragon Ball first wave of pop So being that there's a second wave, let's do a real quick overview of the first wave. So here is Piccolo Number 11. This is part of the first wave of the Dragon Ball Z Pop. And I know a lot of people do have these, so let's check out the back. We have Goku, number 9. Number 10 is Vegeta, Piccolo, number 11. Frieza, final form is number 12. Perfect Cell is 13. And Super Saiyan Goku is 14. Really cool. Alrighty, here's from top to bottom. Trunks, starting on the left. 107, Majin Buu, 111 in the middle. Krillin is 110 on the right, on the bottom, Little Kid Gohan 106, Bulma 108, and Goku and Flying Nimbus 109. All right, so the top two is Trunks and Kid Gohan, even though it doesn't say Kid Gohan, it is Kid Gohan. Dragon Ball Z 106 and 107, really, really nice. I like the paint schemes on all of them, they have gotten these figures down really, really well. Part of the first wave and uh, this being the second wave i am super excited about owning these bad boys and let's go over. so let's check out gohan here he is in his little robe or outfit that they always stuck him in but hey he's got his ponytail he's got his tail which is awesome i would love to see him in a adult form he's got the dragon ball on hat four star awesome really pick good paint scheme couple of flaws right here but that's not nothing to complain about i would love to see some articulation with the future pops like i said with majin buu same with gohan really good looking as you can tell he's got a uh, some uh, really good detail on the paint down here on his shoes the tail looks really good it actually helps him stand yes so there's gohan people let's check out trunks awesome nice hair good face looks like trunks good body they got his paint down really well a couple of blemishes here and there uh, colors look fine sword is kind of bent a little bit but that's just from being in the box and let's check out the back side got his shoes down uh, one of them's kind of lightly messed up right there on the paint but it's perfectly fine sword looks like it could go in there and that's one thing about pops that I would love to see why did they have to put the sword in they could have made it to where we could have put it in there or put it in his back that would have been kind of cool to see have a removable sword from the hand leave the hand open so we could stick it in there every once in a while you never know but this is trunks people looks really righty really so the other two in this set of the second wave of dragon ball z pops is majin buu and krillian they have really nailed these characters down really well seeing that majin buu is a little fat chubby little motherfucker yes i did say it like that i'm sorry sorry about the language and krillin looks awesome as always i love these two characters i'm a big dragon ball z fan myself really nice let's look at these bad boys Alrighty, here is majin buu out of the box in my hands looking really nice i love the paint on this bad boy they got him down really well the colors look so good on him too bad he is not lightly painted because i would have loved to have stuck lights in him if you've seen my light series of pops that i've been doing he would have probably been a really cool one let's get into the sculpt they got his chubbiness down his he has cankles his cape looks really really nice the back side of him and they got uh, the the tail and the little black dots down they got his ears down really well this one's got really good paint scheme on him really really cool got his hands down there i would like to start seeing pops with articulation that would be really really cool and maybe a removable cape that would be really awesome and i know they would probably have to go up in price but here's a real quick overview of majin buu Alrighty, here is krillin out of the box oh my god i'm so excited to see this guy he is really really nice i like the fact that they got his symbol down really good on his back I like the pose, it looks like he's trying to power up, I like that he's got his little blemishes from his, I guess that would be, uh, 
I really don't know. His eyebrows look great. This is a really cool pop. No, no flaws on him like some pops. They have a lot of paint flaws, but this one came out really good. I'm so happy to have this one in my collection of Dragon Ball Z pops. Alrighty, so the first wave of the new Dragon Ball pops. You got Goku and Flying Nimbus and Boma really really nice i hope you did check out my video on me sticking lights inside nimbus the link will be in the description below you also can click somewhere on the screen to open up a separate window to check that video out but let's check out these two bad boys it's boma from the dragon ball line awesome boma's got her little dragon radar her little purse her backpack or well no that's not her backpack that's a gun i did not even notice that She's got a really nice pink bow on top, really very bright colors, and it says Boma clearly across her chest. She's got some bright, bright blue shoes, the same as the little backpack there, or a little bag. She's got a little scrunchie on her done up hair, really, really nice figure, brown hand, uh, brown glove on that hand, sorry about that. The watch, really good detail. You can see that she's got a little bit of uh, redness to her cheeks. Really cool Dragon Ball Boma Pop. Here is Goku and Flying Nimbus. Same as all the other ones. Really, really nice sculpt, really nice paint. I like the fact that they finally included Nimbus in the Dragon Ball line, or Dragon Ball Z line. It looks really nice. Goku's got his big long staff. He's got his staff holder on his back. He's got his tail. Looks really good. So this one, I give it a 10. This is amazing. I love this figure. Really awesome. Goku and Flying Nimbus, people. Let's rotate them around for you can get one good last look at him. And I hope you like this figure as much as I did. I stuck lights in one. Came out really awesome. Uh, there's a picture right there for you. So there it is, man. That is Goku and Flying Nimbus. Really, really good paint. There's not hardly any flaws on this guy. Really, really came out really, really good. All right, people. I hope you enjoyed this real quick video of these Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Pops. We got Trunks, Krillin, Flying Goku, and Nimbus, Gohan, Majin Buu, and Boma. This is the second wave of the Dragon Ball Z and the first wave of the Dragon Ball. Second wave of Dragon Ball would probably be coming out pretty soon. You never know. And the third wave of the Dragon Ball will probably be coming down somewhere in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's your boy. Till the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think. And good luck pop hunting out there.